Hello, beautiful souls. My name is Jessie and welcome to my Tiny Talks podcast, the show where we'll dive into self-love, inner child healing, and discovering your soul's purpose. I look forward to chatting with you every single week and helping you grow exponentially in all areas of your life. Without further ado, here's today's Tiny Talk. Hello, you guys, and welcome back for another episode of Tiny Talks. I am, as always, excited to chat with you all today. I was sitting here embarking on the second snowstorm that New Brunswick has gotten in the past two weeks, and I was sitting here working on some items for my business, making some earrings, doing some Young Living stuff, and as I was reading through some of the content that I had on my phone, I came across this speech, if you want to call it, that I had written back in May. And this is something that I took a lot of time to write and I had a lot of thoughts and momentum and really just reflection that went into this post that I had wrote for myself. And I figured, why not share this with the world? This was something that I remember writing while I was on a plane ride from New Brunswick back to Alberta. And I was sitting there and I just had all these thoughts flowing to my head and just all these realizations happening in my life and so I decided to put it down and write it on my computer and I'm so glad that I did that because as I read through the speech that I wrote it's really just aligning and resonating with I think life right now in general and so the preface of the speech was around happiness happiness in and of itself what it is how society likes to shape happiness for us and control us in a lot of ways And I think that this is something that a lot of us have felt very recently is that theme of control and feeling like we're maybe out of control or we're feeling like we're being controlled from an outside source or whatever that looks like for you. And so I really felt the need to share this with you guys for this week's episode because as I was reading through, I just really felt like it uplifted my mood. And if I can do anything to uplift your mood on these days that sometimes seem a little harder to find a little happiness, I will definitely do everything in my power to do so. So without further ado, here is my speech. Happiness. What is happiness? It's an emotion, right? It's a feeling. It's a sensation. It's a perception. You see, for as long as I can remember, I've been seeking happiness, looking outwards for validation, for the right people, for the right moment. But you see, it never came. For years, I've been searching for something it seemed everyone has, or so I thought. What we see on social media is simply what the person posting decided to share. You don't see the fight that happened off camera or the anxiety behind taking that photo. We as a species have this undesirable mission to find happiness. Since we're children, we're told how to live our life and how our life should play out. School, then more school, to then get a job to pay off debt from school, to then get in more debt to get a house. But before the house, you need to find your soulmate. And then after the house and the debt and the soulmate comes the pressure to work a nine to five, Monday to Friday, to fit in. We are constantly chasing the next chapter of our lives, always trying to fit in and meet the status quo. Now recently I've been doing a lot, and I mean a lot of self-reflection. Recognizing the parts of me that indeed were never my parts, and instead a portray of what I thought would make me fit in or make my family proud. I always felt like I needed that external validation. Growing up, I never really had friends. In fact, I suffered in silence for most of my life. I think most people viewed me as having it all together when in reality, on the inside, I was screaming. Quote from Titanic. My parents have and always will be my biggest support system. However, growing up, I often felt unvalidated, like I had to live up to my brother's expectations. I always followed rules, went to school, played on every sports team, joined multiple clubs, worked as hard as I could to get straight A's, And looking back, yes, I enjoyed all of those things, but realizing now that maybe I was chasing validation and happiness. Happiness, what the heck are you? Who decides? Where do you come from? How do we all feel you? 
Although I am only 23 years old and have a heck of a life to live, I plan to make a difference. I refuse to just go with the flow. I want to challenge people. I want to open people's minds that maybe, just maybe, we all view success and happiness as something different. We've normalized all being one being, one species, all put on this planet for one purpose. Some of us find our purpose younger, others are still figuring it out. And guess what? That's okay. We all have such unique stories and experiences and talents, and that is indeed what makes us all unique. Imagine if we were all one species. Our planet wouldn't be very vague. So my question again is this. What is happiness and who decides it? If we've already agreed that we're all unique and special, why do we all feel this pressure to fit into a box? Imagine you're a circle, feeling like you have to become a triangle, when that shape will never fit you. Is it to please our parents? Your family? Your friends? Society? But what about yourself? Why does our society put so much pressure on us to be one thing? I truly believe we all have too much pressure on ourselves, too many distractions and too many excuses to find our path of alignment and to find our dharma. But what if I told you it doesn't have to be that way? What if I gave you the permission you're seeking to follow your deepest desires? What if I told you no one's opinion matters? What if I took away all your excuses? Would you still try to please others and be that triangle, even though you're a circle? What I've realized is that we're the only ones in control of our destiny. We're the only ones who can put in the work to get the outcome we desire in our minds and the feelings and dreams we have in our hearts. Only we can take those leaps of faith to start the things that we've been dreaming about forever. I encourage each and every one of you listening to this to question for yourself how you've been living. Have you been showing up for others? Has it become exhausting? Are you tired of feeling like you're living for other people when you know in your heart that it's not in alignment? You see, as we know, but sometimes it's a great reminder, we get one chance. One chance to become the absolute best version of ourselves. One chance to make a difference and make a difference for our planet for the next generation to follow. I don't know about you, but for me, happiness is waking up every morning with a new mindset. Happiness is constantly and consistently looking to evolve and grow. Happiness is putting yourself first, even if it isn't what others want to hear. Happiness is smiling every time you think of your career or your passion or your dream. Happiness is a desire to live for today. Happiness is the ability to look within and tend to our inner child that is wounded. Happiness is believing in yourself and something so much that nothing and no one can take that away from you. Happiness all comes from you and comes from within. It starts with you. Question is, will you look to find it or will you let others in society shape what they think is meant for you? I truly hope this podcast episode just sheds some light and maybe opens our minds a little bit to reflect on how we've been living. We can become so stuck on autopilot and living in fear of what if we go outside of what our path is? What if we take a chance, take a leap of faith? Our mind starts to tell us all the things that can go wrong. But what if we just got curious about all the things that could go right? What if our soul's recognition of our highest potential and of our wildest dreams are those gut feelings we feel inside ourselves when we know we're doing something out of alignment? Our body, our soul, our heart, our mind, they're all connected. And they all know when we're off of our path of alignment. They communicate with us in subtle ways. But it's up to you and it's up to us as a collective to listen to that. Can you imagine a society where each and every one of us followed our deep paths and passions? Can you imagine the smiles on everybody's faces no matter where you went? Can you imagine the gratitude we would all have just for living in our dharma and where we feel the most fulfilled? 
I truly believe parts of our society have stemmed so far away from that. Oftentimes out of scarcity, scaredness, nervousness of what others will think or a fear of not having enough if you make those changes. I just encourage you to listen to this podcast. Maybe play it over again with intention of how that aligns with you. How have you been showing up? What are some changes you can make for yourself and for your life? How can you make 2022 and beyond your years of alignment that you are following your heart's desires? How can you continue your life on this planet with a smile on your face and gratitude in your heart, knowing that you did everything that you could to make your life as absolutely as incredible as possible? Now, in saying all this, I know some days can still be hard. I know there are barriers. I know there are limits to an extent. However, if we don't even try to seek that or to run for that or follow our intuition, at the end of the day, we are only doing ourselves a disservice by validating that we are not worthy to chase our dreams. I truly hope your guys' New Year's is off to a fabulous start. I'm sending each and every one of you listening to this so much positivity, kindness, and love. If you're struggling right now, I just want you to know that it will get better. You will get through this. Thank you guys so, so much. And we'll chat with you soon. Thank you all so, so much for tuning into this week's episode of Tiny Talks. If you're looking to connect, you can find me on Instagram at jessiebrown13. I look forward to chatting with you all next week. And remember, get out of your head and into your heart.